we know from research and we know uh, that uh, the United States is behind in uh, science and engineering, and we know that we have to do something about that. So from a standpoint of uh, STEM being um, introduced at the high school level in a rigorous way is, is going to be good for our students and eventually good for our nation. goes back to the America Competes Act, in which uh, when you started looking at qualifications of Americans for engineering and STEM related fields, we realized that we were going to have a deficit, um, that American universities were not putting out the output of U.S. citizens to meet the demands. And so now we know we've really got to beef up this science, technology, engineering, and math of our students to meet the needs of a 21st century world. Well, STEM is a big thing because it, it basically works with everything we have across the world. You have to get your car from somewhere, you have to get your bike from somewhere. Just about everything we have on Earth came from something that we built. Engineering and design is sort of like a gateway to your world. If you look around in the world, everything has been engineered and designed at one point in time. So without those basic principles, we really wouldn't have anything today. Stratford High School is a very historic school here in Nashville, Tennessee. It's got numerous alumni that are very proud of this school and have gone on to do some amazing things uh, in our communities, in our politics, in our Fortune 500 companies. Uh, it's a very diverse school. We meet the needs of uh, students who have very little to the stu some students who have uh, a great deal. We are a family-oriented school. We love our parents. We love our students. Uh, and we want to meet the needs of socially and emotionally as well as academically. Well, I'm Jennifer Berry and I'm the Academy Coach of Stratford STEM Magnet High School. And what the Academy Coach means is that I'm kind of a liaison between the school, higher education, and the business and community partners that support Stratford. So what I really focus on is really bringing in individuals um, that mentor students through individual projects, group projects. So this could be the experimental um, design within the scientific investigation, um, criminal investigation, the engineering design process, and computer gaming and design. So we really bring in those individuals that have expertise to ensure our students have those skills that they deem most important. A lot of times in a criminal justice classroom, we have a lot of military people, a lot of National Guard. So when these people come, we get to ask them questions and really talk about anything. And so it was eye-opening to me. The judge that we met told us about how they enjoyed being a judge. And then the attorneys are giving me firsthand experience on how it is to really be an attorney. The business partners support the engineering in many ways. They supply us tools, parts, and even specialized parts that we need to be machined in a machine shop, thanks to Barge Wagner. Nissan sends in people that actually work at their plants and their headquarters to mentor the students in engineering and other aspects. So we have not only the teacher at Stratford, but we have some Vanderbilt professors that are there with us. And they work with us in whatever subject, usually they're giving presentations, they're helping us with our experiments, double checking, anything like that they'll come and help us with. It's taught by Vanderbilt teachers, and the great thing about it is we're not just learning high school basic things. We don't only have high school basic technology. We have things that were brought in from Vanderbilt, and we also have other projects that are done in colleges. On the mock trial team, they have actually real lawyers who come in and help them with the uh, mock trial team to get ready for that competition. We have scientists in the classroom from Vanderbilt. We have engineers from Nissan, and it's just we're getting a lot of support from our community and it's really cool. The STEM program partly prepared me, is partly preparing me for college because the work we're doing isn't your little arts and crafts project. These are actual projects that require higher level thinking. You're sort of able to have your own say so on what your abilities are and then when your say so stops, there's other people such as our Vanderbilt um, partners they actually help you push that thought to the next level.
Stratford is based on student choice and voice. Students choose to come to Stratford, but then they have a voice in the fact that they can choose their pathway. So Stratford is a wall-to-wall -wall science, technology, engineering, and math, and the way that we do that is through two academies. We have the Academy of National Safety and Security Technologies and the Academy of, of Science and Engineering. And within each one of those academies, there are pathways. So the National Safety and Security Technology Academy has criminal justice and then computer gaming and simulation. Then within the Academy of Science and Engineering, we have engineering, biotechnology, and then interdisciplinary science and research. So students get to choose the pathway. It's kind of like a, um, a major in college. They choose what interests them most that will keep them engaged by going into the pathway that most excites them and will keep them actively involved and excited about school. Because of the criminal justice field, I've really figured out what I want to do with my life. I've changed my mind so many times before coming and now I'm like set in my pathway so now I know what I want to do and now I really know how I can do it and I'm actually preparing for it in criminal justice. More students have come in and with the academies it seems like instead of them coming in and just having a normal high school experience where you sit down and do work and just learn the basics of the STEM kind of gives us an idea of what we can do in the real world once we get out of high school and it gives us uh, opportunities to explore the different types of jobs and careers we can pursue after high school. STEM is preparing me for the real world so when I go out there and go to college I can get my doctorate degree and get ready to own my own business and make a successful life for myself. The STEM program means that we're not just doing your basic one-on-one -on -one science, we're doing things that actually matter and the conclusions can actually help people in today. I'm Kathy Lee. I'm a STEM instructional designer, which basically means I am aiding teachers in designing projects, activities, lessons that hopefully improve student achievement. I go into the classroom, I help them design lessons, I help them model how to teach by actually working with them in the classroom, but mostly I'm a resource, a person who, whatever they need, I am there for them. When I first arrived, the Academy of Science and Engineering was the only pathway here that was STEM. In fact, it took many years for STEM to be an inclusive all school cultural design. It is not just the Academy of Science and Engineering. Every academy now incorporates taking the interdisciplinary approach of using STEM, using science and technology and engineering and mathematics with the projects and incorporating them in the major projects that we're doing. I see STEM uh, mainly in all my classes. In engineering, obviously, we use engineering and mathematics, but also in my science classes and even my English classes, we use math and engineering principles. There's a teacher in each academy, and those teachers, English, U.S. history, and world history, what they do is they connect to your other your academy, academy class. In math, like when we use the different equations and things, I think about how I could use that in robotics and when I'm in robotics, if I have problems, I can use what I learned in my other classes like math uh, to solve them. We work all the way throughout uh, science, technology, engineering, and math with every subject. So if we have a project in English, it will most likely be mimicked and used in math. at Stratford for a while and I've seen this wonderful evolution in the staff and the students, the pedagogy and the ideas that flow. Teaching is now not about just a, I've, I've given the information and you must learn it on your own. It is now a student-centered 
project-based, hands-on, experiential ideas where it's a give and flow between um, adult and student and peer-to-peer, -peer, and that peer includes the teachers and the administration, so everyone grows from one another and everybody works together, and it's the collaboration that's really changed. The biggest change that I have seen here at Stratford is that it's not my student, it is our student. Our students belong to every teacher here, every staff member, every principal, which means that we're all collaborating, we're discussing that child, we're trying to find out the best way to personalize the learning for that child, which involves a lot of time with teacher, with teacher, with teacher, with assistant principal, to maximize what we can do while we have the child here. Stratford is uh, unique to its social environment. Every teacher and every student wants to be here at Stratford and they want to strive to better themselves and become great uh, citizens. Before I was in ISR, I was normally solo. I did most of my work on my own, formulated my hypothesis on my own, and did my own research. But now I've got the opportunity to work in groups, which enables me not only to get some good feedback from others, but to give some of my input to other people so we can produce the best product. The teamwork is great, having the chance to work with other people. It's just fun working with other people and getting uh, that experience here at Stratford is just something that not many have and it's really something to enjoy. I'm used to this working as an individual student, but we do much more group work. It helped me to learn to build with others and like share my ideas and like collaborate and make one big idea. Very rarely we do single group uh, projects. We mainly do group projects so that kids can collaborate and come up with different ideas and different perspectives. And it makes a more fun working environment when you're working with other students that have the equal input as you. Some of the benefits for students at Stratford High School are going to be that they are going to be instructed by leading experts in the field of science, technology, engineering, and math. For example, our criminal justice teacher is a retired FBI agent who spent two tours of duty in Iraq as the lead agent. Uh, doesn't get any better than that. We have Vanderbilt scientists on campus every single day working hand in hand with our students to uh, teach them how to do research and to present research. So you, and you, again, you, you do not get better than that anywhere in the country. In our classes, it's very unique because we don't really use the books that we have <laughs> because the teachers themselves have real world experience. Our Criminal Justice One teacher, Mr. Stevens, actually was in the military. So it's a bunch of experience that they have from doing it themselves that they're teaching us. Also, we have uh, ample tutoring and ample support uh, academically and socially and emotionally. And finally, we have numerous business partners from Nissan to Vanderbilt to Martha O'Brien, just to name a few of our business partners that you're going to have a chance to collaborate with, do internships, externships with, and potentially work for in the future. We have students who get to go out basically and do experiential learning, so they'll do job shadowing or internships, so they get to go spend a day and, and kind of be in the life of, of what they would like to do. The students will talk about, wow, that was so exciting, I got, I got to go basically be an engineer today. No, they're not really being an engineer, but they're shadowing someone and they're really getting that real world experience of what would my life be like if. So it's opening a door and a realm of understanding that they wouldn't necessarily have. We really got to work hard to open those doors of exposure and understanding of what this is and that this is possible and it can be me. The business partners kind of collaborate with us and cooperate with us and they give us like job shadows and in job shadows it helps so much having business partners because they let us go into their businesses and that really gives us an idea, lets us see what we can do after high school. I went on a job shadow to Universal Robotics. During that, I got to see how like the robotics and everything, the math, the science, everything comes together. And on top of that, it gave me an idea how I could go and like I could join Universal Robotics. And in the future, it kind of gives us an idea of what we can do. And if that's something that we like, you know, that might be, in the end, what we actually end up doing.
tell somebody if they came to Stratford and asked me why I wanted to be, uh, go to Stratford would be the dedication that's given by both the teachers and the staff and also by the students. Both the students and the teachers and the staff work hand in hand to gather each day to make sure every student graduates on time and is ready and has the tools for life. The future of Stratford in regards to STEM is um, I trust and I hope that long after I'm gone that it will remain. I want parents to realize, community members to realize that we're steadfast in our uh, mission to help every single student achieve uh, their academic and social emotional goals while they're here in high school. Stratford is the school of the future. We have what it takes to be successful. We have the community support, we have the students, we have the teachers, we have the administration. And what I would want an eighth grader to know is that this is a great place to be. There are very few schools like it between uh, the equipment, um, the business support, uh, the community investment, so that's the individuals that come in and mentor the students, that co-teach, uh, that provide experiential learning opportunities, that Stratford is truly the place to be. When we're five years old, we love to build. We love to take our Legos. We love to go play in sand and design castles. We love to figure out how to explore and use the toothpicks and the straws and invent things. If I were that child at five, at age 10 as well, and at age 12, and at age 14, and I still have that creativity, that innovation part of me that needs to be reached. A STEM school like Stratford is a perfect place because we're giving that ability to look at a problem, have a, our own choices of how to solve those problems, and invent who we are. Let others know who we really are. And to allow a child, a student, to be understood by somebody else, the desires, the wants, the, the creative, the engaging parts of a, a child, of a student, to me is what we're really trying to do in education. I am Austin and I am a STEM scholar. I'm Rosalind and I'm proud to be a scientist. My name is Terika and I'm on my way to be a STEM scholar. I'm Patrick and I'm a future engineer. I'm Antonisha and I'm a future problem solver. I'm Thomas, and I'm a future leader. I'm Amaya, and I'm a future attorney. I'm Brady, and I'm a future problem solver. I am Jashay Rua, and I'm a future forensic scientist. My name is Andrew, and I'm a future scientist. <laughs>